and welcome back everyone to not some developments and today we're making as you probably read in the thumbnail a simple teleportation system basically we have one point you touch it you get teleported to another point you can use this for either going from lobbies to maps or just going from somewhere on the bottom to somewhere to the top it's a very easy tutorial it takes like five minutes i give you all of the code and actually how to make these perfectly you literally just go ahead and touch it and you get teleported to the other one if you enjoy these videos please like subscribe because they do take a lot of time and don't forget about the 1000 subscriber giveaway that i'm going to be doing and giving away 5000 robux to five lucky people so if you want to be a part of that go ahead and subscribe and let's get into the video and first of all you're just going to go ahead and in your workspace click this little plus sign add a folder and you're gonna call this folder uh, something like teleport right then in this folder you're going to go ahead and create a part so add a part and just go ahead and duplicate it so now let's take this one and then just drag it out right here and right here so basically one of these is going to be the actual teleporter the thing you touch and the second one is the location that that teleporter takes you to so let's go ahead and name this teleporter and write it exactly like this i'm going to explain why later in the video and then this one just call it location and also make sure it's spelled exactly like this now let's just quickly make this look somewhat decent so I'm gonna scale it up make it look kind of like a box right go ahead and change the transparency to something like I don't know 0.45 and then change the color to let's let's do like lightish blue kind of looks like water but whatever blue will do now you don't actually have to do anything to the location obviously you can make these look really good if you wanted to but now go ahead and select these two parts right and then make sure make sure that both of them are anchored so make them anchored this is very important so if you missed out on this and it falls over this this was your fault anchor them and then turn off can collide now you can set these wherever you want doesn't really matter go ahead and again in the teleport folder add a normal script not local script normal script and then just delete everything you see here and then in the description below this video you can go ahead and find link to this code right here it'll be something like teleport code go ahead and just copy that right go back to your game and paste it in and I'm gonna call actually let's rename the script to teleport script now the reason why I was mentioning to spell these two things exactly like this is because in the script what you're doing is for location it's looking for a part like an object or a part that's called exactly location like this so make sure this and this match and then right here it's looking for that teleporter which is this part make sure the names are spelled exactly the same and then basically what the function does is it finds the teleporter on touch it uh, runs function hit and then when hit it just finds your players humanoid root part and then changes this C frame location to your lo the part location part now this right here pretty important what it does is it spawns your player at the location part but in this case three studs above which basically means that like if you were to spawn it exactly here your player would be like inside of the part and like halfway in the floor and then if you wanted to you could change this make it like five studs higher so basically instead of spawning him here you're spawning the player somewhere right here now this should actually work so let's go ahead and play this So you don't actually have to have like an FPS game like I have here, but if you're interested, you can see that in this top right corner. 
now we're just going to test it. So as soon as I touch this, it should take us right there. So I go ahead. And as you can see, I teleported to this part. Let's do it again. And I get teleported here again. And this will actually also work with the non-playable characters and rigs. So any like humanoid you have set will also teleport if they touch this block. So that's pretty much it. Your tutorial is complete. This teleport system has a lot of useful ways you can go ahead and for example use it as a spawn for your game app. So let's say this is the lobby, that's the game. You can go ahead and click it. And then I'm in the lobby, I run into the object. Boom, teleport teleports me to the game app and then I start playing. If you like this video, please like, subscribe. At a thousand subscribers, I'm giving away 5,000 Robux to five lucky people. So if you're interested in that, I would highly recommend subscribing. And then see you in the next one.